musical instruments, toys, frisbees. Hi and welcome to WBM TV. I'm Fee and today we have some exciting, can plates and bowls be exciting? Well, I think they are plates and bowls. So these plates are from Ensign and they're made from wheat straw, which is supposed to be a good alternative to plastic, more environmentally friendly. Um, you've got six piece set here, it comes in at about 30 pounds. They're supposed to be really durable, and in fact, they state that they're unbreakable, so that might be a bit of fun. There we go, we have a bag. Didn't even expect a bag. Everybody loves a bit of a bonus bag. So you've got six bowls there, but they're all different colors, which might be quite cute, quite nice. There's a lot going on here. Is this cutlery, maybe? Yep, so we've got... Now, this I love, because I absolutely hate wooden cutlery. So. To me, this kind, these kind of products, it's a bit more of like a picnic-y thing. Maybe something you'd take out with you. You might not necessarily use it in the house, maybe for your kids. We've got more packaging going on here, but the general look and feel of all of it is really nice. Let's get the dinner plates out and see what sort of size they are. Yeah, they're nice plates. Personally, if I was going to use them in my house, I'd probably like them all to be that colour, a bit more dinner platey, but I like them. They look nice. So. So does unbreakable actually mean unbreakable? Well, but safety first. Okay, we're gonna start with something that you might have in the kitchen, which is your household item, your, your rolling pin. Right, rolling pin down. Let's go with the bad boy. Let's go with the metal hammer. Oh, shoot. The metal hammer maybe was step too far. <laughs> Let's see how well the cutlery holds up. I'm not really that strong. I might have to push it down on the... Oh! <laughs> nope, that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that is pretty good. So we've had our fun with this. I've enjoyed smashing it up. But these products actually, they are quite good. They say on the back of them that they can go in minus 20 degrees to up to 120 degrees. So it means you can put it in the freezer, um, in, the more, in the oven on a low heat. They feel really nice. They've got a lovely sort of speckly look, BPA free because they're not plastic. So we're gonna have a go and pop a bit of soup in one of the bowls, stick it in the microwave. Right, see? While we're waiting for the soup to cook, Let's have a look at the cups because slight little fault with them that we've seen, little flaw, should I say. They're not necessarily sitting particularly flat onto the table. It's got like a lumpy bit in the middle. Let's have a look at the soup. High hopes, we're gonna have some lovely soup. That has heated up the bowl. I mean, oh, quite hot actually. Um, but probably no different to plastic or, you know, you can get a china bowl out of a microwave and it's pretty hot. So. Right, we might as well have an actual go of trying the soup. So it's a funny shape. It's like kind of small ladles, so it kind of gets you, you know, more of a child-sized spoon, I'd probably say. I wonder whether, though, whether the tomato would stain. Is it kind of a porous um, material? One use with something very tomatoey, and unfortunately, we are stained already. I don't know if you can see on there, there's an orange stain on the bowl, and that was after one use. I think they're a really lovely looking set. I love the different colors. I love that they're not made from plastic, BPA free. They function well, you can use them in the microwave, dishwasher, like I say, you can even pop them in the freezer. So they do have a really good function to them. The feel's nice and they do feel durable. The finish isn't fabulous, the way that some of the cups, you know, have got that bit at the bottom that make it able to twizzle on the table. The fact that they are staining after one use, again, is a negative. You've got quite a few pieces here. You've got about 24 pieces and it comes in at about 30 pounds. So actually, I think they're quite good value for money, especially if you're using them as a replacement to um, single-use plastic. I'm Fee and you've been watching WBM TV and we review so you don't have to. Don't forget to like, 
rate, subscribe, all of that stuff, and comment as well and let us know, would you buy it? Have you got it? Do you like it? What do you think?